Hi, I'm Nicole Lorg, a realtor with HomeSmart Lifestyles here in Queen Creek. Do you want to avoid unpleasant home insurance surprises with your next house? Well, today I'm going to talk about a report that provides information that can be extremely helpful in discovering hidden problems prior to purchase. So let's get started. So what is a CLUE report? CLUE stands for Comprehensive Loss Underwriting Exchange, which is a compilation of claims made against a property that is collected in a national insurance company database. This report can tell a potential buyer how many insurance claims a property has had over the last five years, when those claims were made, what type of loss was claimed, and how much was paid to settle the claim or if the claim was denied. This information can be extremely helpful in discovering hidden problems prior to purchase. So if you're planning to buy a home and want to review a clue report, this report can only be requested by the owner of a property or the insurer. Like a personal credit report, property owners can order a clue report free of charge once a year. Adding a copy of the home's clue report to other mandatory disclosure documents can provide an important selling point by demonstrating to potential buyers that the property has a clean bill of health. Additionally, it's a good idea for sellers to request this report in advance, just to make sure that there's no errors and you have time to correct any errors before the home is listed. Now, I must mention this. A clue report does not take the place of an inspection or disclosure such as the spuds from the seller. It's an additional tool to evaluate the home and the cost of homeowner's insurance. Potential buyers should use the clue report to let their home inspector know of any repairs that, were ha that have been made per the clue report so that the inspector can ensure the work was done correctly. Other than simply wanting to know more about the property you plan to buy, this report indicates larger problems such as a mold remediation, water damage, roof damage, backed up septic issues, electrical issues, household fires, and more. It's also important to know that some insurance companies don't participate in the comprehensive underwriting database, which means any clue reports requested on properties insured by these companies will probably come back blank. Some situations revealed in a clue report may save a buyer from a property that would be uninsurable or would be extremely expensive to insure. Without a clue report, a buyer may not discover a problem with the house until the deal has progressed to closing or when the insurance cost comes in much higher than expected or when the insurance company refuses to insure at all. So just to reiterate, sellers, having this clue report prior to listing is just one more way to give potential buyers the confidence to proceed with the purchase of your home given this document is showing a clean bill of health. But the extra protection afforded to your buyer for the small cost of the report is invaluable. Well, I hope I was able to answer any questions you may have had about the clue report. Again, my entire goal of doing videos is to help educate you to become savvy buyers and sellers. I want you to understand each phase of your real estate deal. I hope you have a great rest of the week and I will talk to you again next Tuesday. Bye.